Welcome, my name is Jason Huggins. Today we're going to look at Uniface Easy Deployment. We will start by defining the goals of the Easy Deployment project. Introduce the Easy Deployment implementation. Look at the assignment setting. Mention the deployment utility URM. And finally discuss the compatibility issues. The core goals of the Easy Deployment project were as follows. Easy application distribution, easy application updates, and easy application partitioning. In the classic style, the Uniface Runtime repository is based on a number of components. These are the forms, services, startup shells, server pages, etc and the doll and URR files. These are all distinct objects and could potentially be scattered across the system. The new runtime repository is based around a directory structure that contains folders for each of the component types in Uniface. Now this isn't just the traditional components such as forms, services and startup shells but also the library objects such as messages, glyphs, DTDs, etc. and the signatures. There is no longer a need for the doll file or the URR file. At deployment time, these objects are all packaged into a UAR file and this UAR file is deployed. Now, unlike previous versions of Uniface, this UAR file does not have to be unpacked the Uniface runtime can read from the UAR directly. The whole application does not have to be put into a single UAR file. It can be partitioned across multiple UAR files. Once deployed, Uniface will read both its own UAR files and your application UAR files to deliver the application. The Uniface UAR files can be found in the USIS directory. At development time, there are two settings you have to add to your assignment file. The first of these is dollar resources output, and this specifies the path to which Uniface will create the fixed directory structure for the compiled components. You do not have to create this structure yourself, you just specify the base location. We will look at dollar search resources in more detail in two slides. At build time, you modify dollar resources output and specify a UAR file name. You no longer have to use the uDeploy utility to create the UAR files. Uniface will compile directly into UARs. Dollar search resources is very much like the statements we already know, dollar search object and dollar search descriptors. Dollar search resources determines the order in which Uniface looks for the components, be it coming from the UAR files or from the traditional deployment style. The options are resources only, resources excluded, resources first and resources last. With resources only, Uniface will only look at the UAR files for the files. With resources excluded, which is a default, Uniface will only look for the traditional compiled components. With resources first or resources last, Uniface will either look at the UAR files first and if it doesn't find the components, fall back to the traditional mechanism or the other way around, it will look for the traditional compiled components first and then fall back to the UAR files. The default is resources excluded. The runtime settings are as follows. We set dollar search resources appropriately. In this case, we've said resources only. And then we add the additional section called resources and here we specify our UAR files that are included as part of the application. So to recap, there are three locations for the resources. The 
first is through compiler output and that goes to the definition of dollar resources output. The second location is that defined by the resources section used at runtime. Finally, there's a classic style which includes the doll and URR files and our components as redirected in the file section. The Uniface Resource Manager is a command line utility with many features. It allows you to maintain the UAR files and get information about the UAR contents. It runs on all supported Uniface client server platforms. For specific details about how to use this tool, please see the manual. So, to use Easy Deployment, there are just a couple of assignment settings to remember. To enable the IDF in the new style, you need to set dollar search resources to resources first. And you also have to set dollar resources output to the directory location of the fixed directory structure generated by Uniface. To enable the runtime in a new style, you need to set dollar search resources to resources only and set the resources section to the location of your UAR files. By default, Uniface is installed in the classic style. However, the uses directory does contain both styles, so it can be switched if desired. The IDF flags slash dis, ints, doll and URR still work when working in classic mode. Search descriptor and search object are obsolete in resources only mode. The 9.3 URR and doll files are a new format. The 9.3 UAR files are also a new format. This means that older versions of these files from Uniface will have to be regenerated. From the point of migration, there are no migration issues, so you just need to compile your applications in 9.3. So to summarise, the benefits of easy deployment are as follows. Applications are easy to deploy. It's as simple as copying and pasting the UAR file and adding a line to your resources section. So this was the first goal retrieved. Running applications straight from the UAR is supported, so that achieves our second goal. It is also easy to apply and undo changes in your applications at deployment time. You simply copy and paste the UAR file and add the line to the resources section. If you need to undo the change, you simply remove the line from the resources section. So this was goal 3 achieved. The UARs are based on standard zip technology, so if you did want to unzip one, you can do. The whole mechanism allows for simple application partitioning. Thank you.